right, we're here with Jim Harrison, and everybody knows him. He doesn't need any kind of introduction or nothing else. And uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about the gallery here and uh, and uh, some of the stuff he does and about the town, which is pretty neat around here because we had a lot of interesting things happen the last time we were here. And, and, yes, we'd come back. In fact, we did. A little place right up across the street there. <laughs> Bear claws and killer. All right, so just... Uh, you know what to do, brother. Well, we're delighted to have you back. I thank you for coming. Thank you for your interest in Denmark and me and the gallery. And we do think we have a nice place to live here. It's a good community. I've been here all my life. In fact, in 1952, I took a job in this room right here working with a sign painter, Mr. Cornford. And this is where I say that I got my start in art and I'm still here some 50 years later so uh, I kind of like it here. This is Terry here at Jim Harrison's too and, and, and she's going to tell you some stuff about the place around here and throw in a few little tidbits that you know the boss didn't do but that's cool but that's what she does, is that right? <laughs> okay, we've got across the street we've got Freezy Breezy, which is an ice cream store. Looks like an ice cream store, but also has some of the best sandwiches that you'll ever have. They've got a couple little tables inside. It's a quaint little place. They've got outside seating. If the weather's bad, we've got tables in here, and we're happy any time to have you bring your food over here and eat lunch with us. So that's one thing that's exciting. On the fourth Saturday of every month, we have what we call Sunday Saturday. So if you come to Jim Harrison Gallery and you purchase anything here, you know, there's, it doesn't matter how much it is, you get a certificate to get a Sunday over at Freezy Breezy. You have to use it that day, but that's the day you're here, so that's great. Um, there's a hardware store down the street that also has a gift shop, which is a really neat place to, to visit, and we have a great big antique store over there on the corner that you you wouldn't want to miss that they've got all kinds of things in there so this being the highlight of your trip yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are other things to do also okay now what about the second saturday the second saturday is our artist event we host an artist um we try to get kind of a new artist you know someone who isn't you know really that well known yet and we have them come in here we clear out that middle space up there and they hang up their work they sell it we don't take any of their money we provide the the refreshments for it and it's just our way of giving back a little bit to the community so so if i drew stick pictures that wouldn't work would it probably not <laughs> Well, right down the street is the uh, telephone office. At one time, the, a, a third of the world's communication came through Denmark, telephone communication. And it was, it, it was quite a, an important switching station here. And so we have a lot of telephone history that's important. We have two colleges. That's rather significant for this small town. So. We invite people to come. I think you can spend three or four hours here and enjoy it. It's a good day trip from almost anywhere mm -hmm. in South Carolina. All right, we're going to go uh, the big question now. The 100-mile rule for bikers. Would they or wouldn't they? Oh, yeah, this is a great place to come. For one thing, the gallery with so much beautiful art. And, you know, as you've already heard, Jim is quite well known as an artist. His art is known all over the world, really. Um, you've got a great place to eat. You've got a couple other places to visit. And it's just a beautiful town. Definitely worth the trip. Y'all heard it. I'm going to take her word for it because we're here. We know it. All right. Toodaloo.